The Duchess of Cambridge popped to Windsor following a royal engagement at Bletchley Park in Milton Keynes. Meanwhile, Prince William headed for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's home Frogmore Cottage from a United for Wildlife meeting in London. Harry had also carried out a royal engagement in Oxford. Due to the royals all having a busy day, they could not meet until the evening. This will most likely have been too late for Prince George, 5, Princess Charlotte, 4, and Prince Louis, 1, to also visit from London. This is because the journey from Kensington Palace would have taken an hour to get there, Hello Magazine reports. It would also have been a late night for George and Charlotte, who will have had to go to school the next day. The young royals often don't meet the latest additions to the royal family until a few months after they are born. When Sarah and Mike Tindall's eldest daughter Mia was born in 2014, Prince George did not meet his cousin until she was two months old. Mike, who is a retired rugby star, called the meeting carnage. He said to the mirror, I don't think Mia will remember that day, she was two months old, but it was great, it was carnage. George was eating at the time. He got to that stage where more food goes on the table than in his mouth. Mia was just chilling and sleeping, she sleeps a lot, she's quite relaxed. But Archie has not been short of visitors so far, as the Queen and Prince Philip were one of first members of the royal family to meet him, as well as Princess Diana's sister Lady Jane Fellows.